Good morning, and welcome to Morning Message for Monday, April the 27th, 2020. And listen to this, our debut new theme song. I hope you enjoyed that, our new theme song. It's called uh, the St. Paul's Jingle, and it was written by Stephen LeClaire. Uh, basically, uh, I had my people contact his people, and we made arrangements, and he came up with this uh, uh, jingle for us to use, uh, which I'm very proud of and I enjoy very much. Um, I should say that my people uh, is my daughter, Riley McGill, and his people, um, is my daughter Riley McGill. So the negotiations uh, for that were uh, really easy and I'm really glad that uh, that Stefan uh, provided our new theme music for our uh, morning messages. And it actually caused me to think a little bit about music and the role that music has to play uh, in our lives. Music basically has, uh, has two elements. Uh, the first one is the uh, purpose of the person who composed it, um, or perhaps even the purpose of the person who's performing it. Uh, it could be that uh, uh, they're trying to evoke a certain uh, kind of emotion or express a certain kind of emotion or, or feeling. Uh, it could be songs of praise. It could be a deeply uh, personal song about about love, very often unrequited love. Uh, the purpose of the song might be education. Uh, the ABC song uh, teaches children the alphabet. Um, our hymns really uh, are not just expressions of praise, but they're also a method of learning. It's one of the ways in which we learn about our faith. One of my professors at university, when he made some sort of deep theological point, would drive it home by a quote from a well-known hymn. Uh, so, so music has all of those elements in terms of uh, why it's written and it doesn't even need to ha have words in order to convey a, a certain kind of uh, emotion or feeling. On the other hand, the audience is the other part of music and how we receive it. Some music causes us to uh, stand at attention a national anthem uh, does that sort of thing. Uh, and all of the emotions and, and feelings that, uh, that a composer is trying to convey uh, can be recreated in us as well as we listen to music. And of course we learn. We learned our ABCs uh, through song. Um, I had a friend who had a jingle uh, that uh, taught her the um, uh, the counties of uh, the province of Nova Scotia. Uh, probably didn't have to do that in Prince of Rhode Island. Uh, there just being three counties and uh, Prince, Queens, and Kings is uh, something that's pretty easy to remember. Um, so all of the things that uh, music is intended to do can actually have that effect on us as, um, as listeners. One of the things that I realized yesterday that I'm missing is opportunities just to listen to some music. Uh, it's sort of evolved in my life that uh, most of my music I listen to in the car. And uh, when I was driving down to church yesterday, uh, I realized that um, the, the uh, flash drive, memory stick, a thumb, whatever, a thumb drive, whatever they're called, um, it was my Irish music. So obviously I put that in uh, before St. Patrick's Day last month, and it's still there because I haven't really been driving anywhere, and uh, at least not long enough in the car to bother to change out the uh, thumb drive. Um, so uh, I think one of the things I need to do in the midst of a pandemic is uh, to find some time uh, just to listen to some music because I really enjoy uh, doing that, it lifts my spirit, it helps me, 
uh, in ways that, uh, that, that are really important at this time. So I would encourage you too, if you are missing out on music uh, because of this pandemic, to try to carve out some time in your day uh, to listen to uh, some of your favorite music or listen to some brand new music. Um, which, whichever you would like. Um, so I was certainly excited yesterday to receive the, the little jingle, the St. Paul's jingle from uh, Stefan, and I really appreciate that he's, uh, he's composed uh, this music for us. I imagine someday, many, many years from now, a record company, after Stefan has had a long and illustrious career as a musician, uh, will release uh, some unreleased material from Stefan uh, you know, uh, oddities and rarities, and uh, this jingle might appear on uh, on that collection. I imagine it'll be called uh, Stephen Leclerc, bass mint tapes, something like that. He's he's essentially a bass player, but obviously plays other instruments as well. Um, so until that collection is released, many many years from now, the only place to hear the St. Paul's jingle is here on my little. Uh, podcasts. Um, so thank you and have a great day. God bless. Mm -hmm.